All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining today. Uh, my name is Chris. I am with DocMe Software. And today we're going to take you through DocMe for HR and show you how DocMe can be used to help simplify the management of employee records. This shouldn't take too long. Let's get started. Uh, first, the agenda. So I'm going to give you guys just a quick overview of our company so that you know a little bit about DocMe. Then we'll get into some of the core challenges HR departments currently have. And we'll talk about uh, DocMe and, and the solutions that we have for HR and how we can help. Then we'll go into a demo. Today, we're going to be seeing a demo of a, of a typical HR process, an employee who wants to request time off. You know, how do they do that? How can we help streamline and manage that process? After that, we'll have a Q&A, and then we'll, we'll be done. So let's get started. First, a little bit about DocMe. Uh, we are based in Houston, Texas. That's where our corporate office is located. That's where I'm located. Uh, we were founded in 2006, so we've been around for uh, a while now. Um, our corporate office is in Houston, but we also have offices in Mexico. We have an office in Singapore. We have an office in Paris. We have an office in Kingdom of Bahrain. We have offices all around the world. And the reason that is important is for support because, you know, here in the U.S., when we shut down at seven o'clock, support rolls over to Singapore. And then when they shut down, support rolls over to Paris and then it rolls back to the U.S. And that allows us to provide 24-7 support to our customers. So in the event uh, you ever need anything, you can give us a call and there will always be someone to help. Uh, some of today's HR challenges. So, you know, in today's environment, um, there are a lot of different things that, that HR companies deal with um, from new hire onboarding, meaning when we onboard a new hire, we have multitude of different documents that that person may need to uh, to sign or to fill out. We may have other reports that we are doing on that person, like background checks and things like that. We have insurance documents that need to be done, tax documents. Uh, and we can help aggregate all of, uh, all of that information, all of those documents and help track so that we know like, you know, this person, ha have they submitted everything so, so that we can get them started. That, that process typically is very resource intensive. It takes a long time. With DocMe, we can help streamline it and manage it and shorten that cycle so that we can get someone onboarded a lot faster. Uh, and then also, you know, with that, a typical employee is going to have ongoing forms, meaning, you know, they want to re they request time off or maybe uh, their tax status has changed. Maybe their insurance has changed. Uh, maybe they're doing training. They have uh, an annual review. All of those different documents that a typical HR department must manage, uh, DocMe can help with that. Uh, we have ways that we can uh, allow, allow this to happen you know, fast and allow it to happen secure and allow it to um, to really move past, you know, putting everything into filing cabinets, if, if that's typically uh, how, how a lot of companies still do it. Um, compliance and security, that's, that's something that's also, you know, very, very uh, important. It's always been a priority you know, with, with companies. Um, securing sensitive company data uh, and files from, from unauthorized access or preventing unauthorized modifications or unauthorized deleting of files. And, and DocMe can help with all of that. And we also can provide, you know, a way to audit the system. You know, anything that, that is going on in the system, whether it's action, something someone did or a user or a file, we can, um, we have the ability to go in and to run those, those audits so that we have the information that we need to keep everything secure. 
Uh, and then last, you know, today we see a shift. Many organizations uh, in the environment, they're moving to a remote, remote workforce or, or others maybe uh, they're giving employees the option of working remote part-time. And with that, there are definitely challenges. Before, if everyone's at the office, it's easy to, um, to, to, to find a file, or maybe not easy to find it, but at least you know where the file is. It's there, you have access to it. Uh, if everything is in you know, a, a filing cabinet or locked in a cabinet somewhere, it's a home office. With a remote workforce, that's not the case. So DocMe allows secure access to your files uh, anywhere at any time. Um, so, um, so, so doc me is in a position to, to really help an organization's HR department, um, with their processes, uh, and with moving and, you know, and competing in today's environment. Uh, and so let, let's talk a little bit about DocMe's solutions for HR. So we have end-to-end uh, -end solutions from, uh, for, for a company's HR department. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, we can help with, you know, that initial onboarding to the ongoing management of those documents. Uh, so even when that employee maybe leaves the company, they retire, or they, they go somewhere else, you know, to manage that file, because maybe we need to keep that stuff for a certain amount of time. A lot of times we do. And so we can help with that, that entire process. And we do that with, with three core products, uh, DocMe Capture, DocMe ECM, DocMe Forms. And the, the value that we provide, you know, through, through our, is not, not only through our technology, it, it's, so it's, it's also through, it's also through our people. It's also through, you know, the, the licensing options that we have. We have very flexible, you know, ways to, to help get companies started, you know, including uh, unlimited scanning for, for document capture, meaning there's no per click charges. There's no tiered pricing based on the size of the scanner or the workstation. Uh, ECM works in the it works the same whether uh, it's on premise or whether it's in the cloud depending on how you guys uh, want to um, want to deploy it. Uh, we also have concurrent user unlimited user options. A lot of different ways to um, to help our customers uh, increase the value, and lower the total cost of ownership of of our software. Now, um, let's go look at DocMe. And let's see how it can help your HR department manage employee records, uh, streamline processes. Uh, like I said before, today we're going to look at uh, a simple employee time off request and, and how that can be uh, done through DocMe. Now, uh, this what I'm going to show you guys next is actually based on a customer use case. Um, uh, this, this is one of my customers, and before DocMe, um, the employees at this customer would request time off different ways. So they had people in the office, and they would a lot of times they would do it through email, send an email to their manager, and then it would go to HR. Um, they also had a warehouse, and then a lot of the people there didn't have access to a computer. It just wasn't their job. And so for those, they would they would fill out a, um, a form, like a piece of paper, and they would turn it in. And then that, you know, that paper would get passed around the office um, for approvals and then to HR. And uh, the end result was that, you know, it really, really took a long time to, uh, to, to send in a, a request through and get it approved. There wasn't really a standard process of how of how it worked or how long it was going to take. Things got, you know, got delayed or got lost. And then uh, everything was, was paper-based really. And so, you know, when they needed to go in and find one of these records, like the original record, it, you know, that was also a nightmare. It took a long time to, to go track just records down in general. Um, and what I'm going to show you guys, we're going to be using uh, DocMe forms and, and DocMe ECM today. 
Um, let's pull it up and I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so this is Docme Forms. And this is where we could take that uh, time off request form and we could digitize it. Uh, we actually took this company's, the, the actual form that they used that in the warehouse that they would fill out. Um, and we modified it a little bit and then we digitized it. Um, and so now they have a, um, a link that they can go to and they click on it, fill it out, turn it in. Uh, everything is automated. And, and that's what we're going to look at right now. So this is Doc Reforms. Um, I'm going to log in and I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to where uh, I've created the form. And so, and just like what, we, what I did is I took a, a form, imported it in. So it, we can use your existing form. And then we're making um, the fields off of it. And it's, it's very simple to do. Uh, and then once we're done with that, we can take it and we connect it to Docmo ECM and we publish the, the link out. And so uh, it looks like this. So if I go back, this one's actually published here. Um, if I go here, there's the link sharing. I'm just going to grab it. If I open this up, um, this is the actual form. And so from here, um, we, the employee just simply fills out what they're looking for, what um, the information that's required for whatever form they're submitting. You know, in this case, employee name, manager, ID, reason for leave, leave the dates, things like that. Sign it, hit submit, and it goes in. Um, here's one that I'd kind of already started working on before, but um, so the, the idea is that we're going to go in and submit this form. Once we hit submit, it's going to go into docking ECM. So we've taken that, you know, initial step of, you know, sending an email or filling out a piece of paper or anything like that. Um, it, it's just very simple. The employee fills it out, they press submit, it goes into DocMe ECM. From DocMe ECM, it's automatically routed to the, to the manager so that, uh, so that it can be approved. Um, let's go take a look at that. And so this is DocMe ECM. This is really where um, all of the employee records are stored. Um, it is, uh, it's web-based, so, you know, an end user can access the files through, um, through their browser. We recommend Chrome or, uh, or Microsoft Edge. Um, and I created a user here, and we're going to go ahead and log in as James Walker, and he would be the, the manager for um, for Curtis Williams, the person who who filled out the time off request. What happens when that request comes into Docme ECM? Uh, it hits a workflow that routes it to the correct person based on who the manager is. And at that point, the manager uh, gets an email maybe that says, "Hey, look, you know, there's something that needs your attention. Someone's requesting time off. Can you please, you know, approve this um, this request?" And so. Um, James is going to log in. And so when the end user logs in, the first thing that they see is a, a customizable dashboard. And from here, they can access whatever they need. Um, Docmo ECM is set up with digital filing cabinets. And so um, just like a filing cabinet in your office, we have uh, different cabinets for different departments, maybe, or different you know, pieces of the business. And the good thing about that is we can restrict who can see or who has access to specific cabinets. So an HR cabinet, typically it's only the HR department that has access to that. Um, and so that here's the HR uh, cabinet right here. But really what, what's going to happen is it, since this is part of a workflow and he needs to take some type of action, when he logs in, he's going to see it waiting for him in his inbox. Um, and so he clicks on the inbox, anything, any task that he needs to take care of, uh, is just going to be simply listed here. So it, it's here. He's going to need to do an approval for the time off. He's going to open it up and there's the form. So from here, what does he do? He's going to look, make sure. Okay. Yeah. Curtis wants time off. He says, uh, whatever it is, jury duty, let's go ahead. Let's approve it. Um, so, you know, typically we would maybe sign this or something like that. We can do all of that in here. So I can go in and I can, um, 
uh, grab a signature. So let's go ahead. Let's grab signature and put it here. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, put a stamp that we've, uh, that we've approved it. Let's go to that. It's going to ask me a question, um, title and department. Uh, let's say he's manager of operations. There we go. Click OK. And here we go. So now we have everything, um, everything approved and, and everything is, um, is documented. So that when this goes to the next step, they, we can see that, hey, look, you know, James saw it. He, uh, he approved everything. And so let's, let's, you know, see what we're going to do here. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to burn these onto the document. What this is going to do, it's going to allow it. Once I do that, it's, it cannot be modified. So someone couldn't come in and they couldn't, you know, delete anything or anything off of this file. We're good to go. Um, so we've done it. Let's go ahead and just, you know, save the changes that we made. We'll save it as a version. That way we can kind of track it through the workflow. Um, and so what it did is now we have that, that initial version of, of when, the, um, when the request came in. Uh, now we have a version that has been approved. And so after that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to, we would go to the next step. Um, and the next step would be, you know, we take it to the HR department and the HR department is going to, um, they're going to either approve or, or disapprove of it uh, or, or um, not approve it, excuse me. Let's do this. Okay, now we're going to log in as the HR admin. So HR person is going to get the same request um, through email. Hey, look, there's something that needs your attention. Can you please log in and take care of it? And so they're going to log in. When they log in, they'll see it in their inbox. They're going to click on their inbox. And now we see, okay, here's the request, the time off request from, from Curtis Williams. Let's click on the request, open it up, and take a look. We see, okay, James has approved it. Um, what are we supposed to do here? We need to, to verify it. We've done that. We need to update our HR system. We do that. Um, let's go ahead and sign, stamp it. Same way, uh, just the same way that we did before. Uh, I can go ahead and check it out. Uh, and then we have another one, HR, PTO complete. Let's go ahead and put this up here. And we can make it a little bigger. Um, we could also sign this as well if we wanted to do that. Um, go ahead and sign it. This one is password protected. Put my password. And here it is, signature. And now we are, we're good to go. Um, let's check this thing in. Um, go ahead and save it again as a version. And so now we have three versions of the file. We actually have um, the original. We have it after it was approved by James. Now we have it after it's approved by the HR admin um, so that we could go in and we can, we can track this if we want to um, later. I'm going to go ahead and approve it, submit, and we're good to go. So we're good to go there. Now, how did all this work? Let me, and this is done through our uh, workflow designer. And so there's, it's a graphical designer, very, very easy to, to use once you, um, once you learn how to use it. It's, um, um, and this is what we just did. So basically, you know, it, we triggered the workflow and we, um, the, the workflow gets triggered when that new approval comes in. And it goes to to whether the manager is that manager yeah, they can approve it or they can reject it. Um, they approve it, goes to HR. HR does the same thing; they can approve it or reject it. Um, and then even as part of this, we could go ahead and we could like add a step, like we could add an email step after HR approves it. Maybe we, you know, have it automatically email um, James and the the employee. Hey, look, you know, your time off request has been approved. Uh, and then everything is securely stored inside of DocMe. And so, um, and so to access the file now, if we wanted to do that, we would go back into, into DocMe. Um, we go into the HR cabinet, which is right here. Uh, I can go in. I can see all of the employees. Um, that was Curtis Williams. If I click on Curtis, 
uh, I can see all of his um, all of his documents, and we have them sort of like you know the different document types. But we go to the time off request, and we can see this one here that we just did. That's complete. Um, pull it up, and we can see how everything is signed. So, uh, and we we do this for all Curtis's documents. So anything from his initial application to um, you know to a time off request to um, annual employee reviews and things like that. Um, anyway, so that is an overview, a quick overview of, of DocMe for HR and also uh, how, um, how our DocMe or process can be, can be streamlined using DocMe. Uh, we definitely like to, to talk to you guys more about it. Um, please reach out to us. You can reach us at sales at DocMe.com. That is the easiest way. Um, you can also find us at www.docme.com. Thanks, everyone, and y'all have a great day.